Now that Chris Rock has finally responded to the slap heard around the world and the dust is settled, Chris's brother, Tony Rock, is revealing some rather interesting details. His thoughts on Jada, Will's softness, but more importantly, the fact that Will Smith absolutely lied. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. I know some of you are sick of this story, but I found these quotes uh, fascinating. I wanted to bring them to you because Tony Rock's a funny guy in his own right. Yes, he's used this uh, you know thing to his advantage. He's done a lot of interviews. He's made a thing about it. But he is Chris Rock's brother, and he talked about it in this new interview that we're going to play for you. Uh, why he, this is a big deal for him. He's, he knows Will. He looked up to Will. He worked with Will and Hitch and a couple opportunities where Will hired him. And yeah, Chris is his brother, his older brother who he looks up to. And he was always taught if my brother's in a fight, I'm in a fight. He's a loyal brother and he wants to be there for him. And yeah, he was bothered by it all. Now, before I get to this quote, it's a little bit older and it's, it's a doozy talking about Will Smith's softness and bringing up Jada and Tupac. I want to get to the lie itself because I do think this is the reason why I'm doing this story. I, I, I do believe Tony rock. I mean, this is, he said, she said, well, he said, he said, I guess. Uh, but I'm curious what you guys think. Do you believe Tony on this? Or do you think that he's lying and that Chris was called? Let's hear it from him directly before we get to the actual part itself where he's going to admit will never called. Uh, he talks about sort of his experience overall watching the entire experience. I want you to hear it here from big boys neighborhood. I watched it in its entirety. I watched that Nobody assisted my brother. I watched that uh, that he said when he won the award, the devil's always working. So, like, that was the devil? A joke was the devil? Mm. Correction. And, look, he's not just going off on this because it's what he's doing. Like, Big Boy asked. He was on an interview with Big Boy Push, and he didn't want to go there. And I do want to correct this. The quote itself, which I actually read differently, and I'm curious what you guys in the comments think, at your highest moment, be careful that's when the devil comes for you. Now, Tony saw that as Chris was the devil coming for Will. I saw it as Will acknowledging his own faults and acknowledging I'm at my highest peak and I just messed it up and just did something really stupid on stage. That's how I took it. I thought Will was trying to own it, but if that's not the case and Will was calling Chris the devil, I didn't even really consider that. I just didn't think his ego was that big. <laughs> but maybe I'm wrong. What do you think? Do you agree with Tony's interpretation or do you think this was Will trying to say that life when you're at that point and you can't fail, think you can't fail, that's when you are going to fail, not someone making fun of you. You're going to overreact. That's how I thought. I want to hear your comments down below. Tell me what you think, but let's keep going. Also hit that subscribe button while you're there. Hit the bell for alerts and smash the like button. Thanks. Mm. A joke was the devil putting his work in. I think the devil does a little bit more sinister work than that. You know? Yeah, I think the devil... If we're believing in the devil, I think it was inside Will that day from why he let loose and unleashed and couldn't keep pretending to be the person he was. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, I saw that uh, Samuel and uh, I think it was Denzel comforted Will. But yeah. Tyler it. Perry. I didn't see Samuel. Maybe it was there. I saw Tyler Perry and Denzel. They were definitely comforting. I think to my brother. They didn't say anything to the, his brother is what he's revealing. Uh, I saw that. I was a little. It was a couple of things that I saw that were like, wow, that's interesting. I saw. But, you know, I saw that. uh uh, you know, the production company kept it going. Yeah. You know, the first night that it's a black production and he acted like the ultimate N word and they just said, keep it going. I saw that. Mm -hmm. That's true. This was a lot of people forgot that because of the whole notoriety of the slap incident. But yeah, they had a black producer. It was a, it was a big deal. Uh, and yeah, the night that he, he makes a joke, Tony earlier, like, of course, the one night we finally get black production team and this happens. Uh, it pissed him off. Rightfully so. Man. You know, I saw that he still, my brother had to keep his composure. And like you said, my, our parents told us don't front, fight in front of white people. But uh, mommy would have had to be mad that night. Yeah, yeah. Mommy would have been mad that night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. So, and, and I don't know where where it goes to from there. It's not my business. You know what right. I'm saying? I'm on the outside looking in. Of course, you're way more connected to it. But even when I saw that one time when Diddy was like, they talked. And he was like, no, they didn't talk. Oh, yeah, that was, yeah. And that, that uh, I reached out to him. He didn't want to talk. That wasn't true. That wasn't true. That like I think like two nights later he said I reached out to Chris and he didn't want to talk. That wasn't true. The Diddy part we knew was just Diddy being Diddy, but I didn't know that the Will Smith part where he said, and I think we have it here. The the actual quote um, is here. Sorry, bear with me. The actual quote. Uh, scrolling down so you don't get a headache because I'm I'm trying to do it. There is a point there where he revealed Chris. Uh, I I. 
you know, I reached out. This is clear. This bothers Chris. Will needs to deal with these issues. Uh, I don't know. Sorry, that was the previous uh, Tony quote. In his video, Will revealed that he'd reached out to Chris privately, claiming he received a message back from Chris, was not ready to talk, and would reach out when he was. That was from the It's Been a Minute. Now, maybe this was reps talking to reps, and they had the wrong reps. I, I don't know. You'd think Will would have just called up Chris or direct, directly to his person, been like, yo, I need to, this is me. Can we talk? And you'd think that would have gotten back to Tony. I guess maybe it might not have. But, I mean, does that not bother you a bit that Will's out there saying he reached out? Did Was this a misunderstanding, miscommunication? I hope that gets cleared up because if Will was just lying about that to save face. that was Man, I'm telling you, but, bro. But, you know, he's, listen, he said he, he did what he did. He said what he said. I don't know where it's going from here either. Uh, my brother's getting ready to tour and, you know, do some Again. wonderful stuff. I'm sure he's doing some wonderful stuff in his career and – I'm sure there's, they're still going to work and make money and everybody's going to be hey fine. Hey, man, do you feel like that changed? It's true. And then they go on talking about more. Go check out the Big Boy interview. I like Big Boy. I worked with him uh, doing some pranks way back. He's a, he's a good interviewer, good dude. Uh, works hard. Uh, but, yeah, well, interestingly enough, Will Smith scored the number one Netflix movie after that. I didn't realize Shark Tale <laughs> after Chris Rock special took a huge uh, surge in views. But I do want to go back. There was another part here where I, as I was doing my uh, research on this topic – I found this other clip and I wanted to bring it to you because it's, this is actually from a little older ago. I don't know how we missed this. Apologies for not getting this to you sooner, but since we're here talking about this one last time, this was a pretty damning clip from Tony rock. Why he did it and cut back. He was already up walking. So maybe it was the Jada look, right? But I think that, I think that slap was the accumulation of him being slapped on other levels, on other levels, right? It was it just, yeah. it was, you know, he's soft. He it, it, he said it himself, he hate he always hated the soft moniker. Right. He's soft. Uh Jada and keep won't let Tupac die. It's always something about Tupac and, right. and his daughter brought up Tupac. And I'm not bringing up family stuff that people don't know. So, you know, later on, of course, on social media, when this gets out, it'll be all oh, Tony Rock, it ain't none of your business. This is stuff that everybody knows. That everybody knows. Common she, she, knowledge. She commonly she commonly she puts it out there, 100%. No one would know this if she didn't put it out there. He talks about Tupac, her relationship with Tupac. As a married man to this woman, you're like, damn, do I, is what I'm doing not Can enough? Can I live? Yeah. Can I live? Right. So it was yeah. an accumulation of, and maybe my brother said some jokes before about them that, you know, he didn't like. And, you know, it's it just, whoop, it, there it, it, it is. It, and here we go. But, but that's what I said before. That's what backstage is for. Yeah. That's what they built backstage that's for. There's anything you want to say to somebody. Say it back here. And, and then plus, and plus, I, I feel like, you know, especially amongst comics, I don't know if this is with actors, comics, we all actually feel like we're a fraternity. We are a fraternity. Like, like we treat each other like if you yeah. are comic. Yeah. Anyway, you get the bit there. I wanted to give you that bit because it was telling, I thought, to see him bringing it up. And this was actually uh, before the special happened. But uh, Tony Rock is out there doing uh, some interviews. And of course, they bring it up. And of course, he's going to talk about it. And why not? But uh, at this point, I think we're all done talking about it. But I, I I, I don't like this if it's true. Now, again, I wasn't there. Maybe there was a miscommunication. What do you think? Did Will Smith lie? Uh, come on. Really? He had to. This seems really. He didn't actually call out and say we reached out to Chris team. And he didn't want to speak. If he made that up. Damn, that's just I mean, I didn't. I don't know, man. What do you guys think? <laughs> that bugs me a lot because that's that's not cool. Uh, but if you like this kind of content and you want to get updated on your pop culture beefs and drama and all of it, hit that bell for alerts, the button, smash the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, help the engagement of the video. And yes, we'll be live later today. Hope to see you guys there. Thank you so much for watching here on Popcorn Planet. Go Planeteers!